Okay, so I just took a video of my apartment to show people that I do not live in squalor, but there's another more serious thing that I want to cover. My mother did commit suicide in uh, 2003. I was 20 years old. I was the last one to see her alive. I have to say I wasn't the most perfect daughter, but I love my parents. Even though I had a temper, which flared up from now and uh, every now and then, well, more than every now and then. But I will always love my parents. I was the last one to see my mother alive. Um, why I'm telling you all this is because my sister has said that it's my fault that my mother passed away, that my mother killed herself, that my father passed away because he gave up on living. The truth is my mother had to, had severe depression according to the four county records that I have on hand. Four County is a counseling center here in Logansport. And for a short time before her death, she was going to counseling. I was last one to see her alive. And I remember that day very, very vividly, um, even though it's 14 years later, 13 years later. I, um, we were talking and she asked me to stay home with her. And I, I should have, I, I really should have. I, I, but I was part of the basketball team for Special Olympics and we had a tournament to go to. She knew this. I still blame myself for that day because I can't help but think I was so selfish. I should have stayed. After years of counseling, um, I have found that it wasn't my fault, even though my sister is blaming me. I will always love my sister but I will not forget what she said. Will I forgive it? In time, but not right now. She has hurt me to my core. My mother was very, very depressed. She took two balls of sleeping pills and she decided to end her life. My father found her in the bathtub. A year later, my father had a heart attack. I really think, according to my sister, he, he just gave up on taking care of himself. He was heartbroken. That's why he stopped taking care of himself. He loved my mother to the core. And when, he and when she died, a part of him died with her. That's why he didn't want to take care of himself. Misty, I will not let you drag me down. I will not let you tell me what is and is not true. In my eyes, you are a monster. You are a monster for blaming somebody over their mother's suicide. You are a monster. You say that you are a Christian, yet you tell your daughter to F off. 
You tell your sister that it's her fault their mother committed suicide. Christians don't do that. If you think that's Christianity, then you have another thing, then you have another um, concept of Christianity altogether. No, that's not Christianity. So I just wanted to say all that. And it's, it, it is therapeutic to get all this out finally. I've had all this boiling inside of me since my sister blamed me earlier this year over our mother's death. And it is therapeutic to let it go. Bye.